We thank the Special Rapporteur for his report, and we wish to ask him three questions. Regarding his reference to climate apartheid, we were somewhat concerned. Apartheid has a specific meaning. It is the systematic of institutionalized racial discrimination used by South Africa's white minority to dominate the black majority. If we take out the word apartheid, does the meaning of this ominous history could be diminished? Would the rapporteur be willing to reconsider the analogy? Second, regarding his country visit to the extreme, po extreme poverty, we wish to ask the rapporteur if he exp could explain the precise methodology by which, out of all countries in the world, he chose to investigate the UK. The guiding resolution 71186 from 2017 refers to the sustainable development goal, one, to eradicate extreme poverty measured as people living on 125 a day. How does investigating the UK, or at last year the US, advance this goal? Third, is there a reason why, on the matter of extreme poverty, he has chosen not to visit the 10 poorest countries in the world? Is there a reason why he chose not to report on the victims of extreme poverty in Madagascar, where gross national income per capita is only $1,510, 27 times smaller than that of the UK? Why has he not chosen to visit the extreme poverty of Sierra Leone and Mozambique, Malawi, Niger, and DR Congo, where GNI per capita ranges from $1,480 to $870. Why has he chosen not to spotlight the victims of extreme poverty in Burundi, Central African Republic, or Liberia, where GNI per capita is as low as $710? That is 57 times smaller than that of the income in the UK. Extreme poverty should include the world's most extreme victims of poverty. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.